I've been posting um, a few videos with this new micro quad that I just built up this week. Uh, this is the uh, Hobby King FPV 250 frame, uh, which is uh, $10. Uh, the frame is one piece. Um, it's really, really robust plastic. Um, I, I think it's a brilliant uh, frame for the money. Uh, it comes with a, a little protector plate, which is really designed for the Hobby King KK2 controller. So if you're using any other controller, it may not fit. But you could always make up a top plate using standoffs and a, and a piece of flat sheet of something. Um, the thing I like about it is that it's cheap and it's really robust. Um, I've got the RCX 1804 2400KV motors from RC Mart. I chose those because they do clockwise and anti-clockwise motors and threaded screws uh, pops so that the... Um, the props are self-tightening, which I really like on the DJI Phantom, and it's something that I wanted on, on the micro quad if I could. Um, I'm running the Gemfan 5.3 props, which are perfect, and I'm running a 1300 3S LiPo, which, uh, which is fine. Um, it's a bit of a squeeze getting all of the FPV gear on. I'm using Afro 12 amp ESCs because they came with the Simon K firmware and they fly really well. I bodged up a wiring loom because I, I wanted to try and reduce the weight and not have a... I normally use the multi-star looms, the uh, the three and a half mil pre-made looms like this. Uh, I like the six way because you've got a couple of spare um, sets of connectors for um, uh, running cameras or FPV gear or whatever you want. Um, but I wanted to try and save weight on this so I soldered up the, the wiring which I, I'm not 100% happy with but it, it does work and it is pretty lightweight. Um, the FPV gear, I'm running two cameras. I wanted to run the Pilot HD which is the Fat Shark recording camera only. However, it, it has about 200 milliseconds of latency which I tried and I just can't get my head around. Um, I'm sure with practice you get used to it but I want to fly this sort of through obstacles and around low and fast so I want something quick. So I've got the Fat Shark 600 TVL camera which, uh, which I'm using for the FPV feed and then I've got the Pilot HD camera I've just fitted for recording because it's nice to have a video of the flights both for you to look at when you crash and when you don't crash and also to put on YouTube or whatever uh, and because of the shape of the frame you need a really short camera to fit easily so that's what I've got at the moment. Um, the video transmitter I've just put on there, the RC receiver is underneath, it doesn't seem to be any issue there at all, it flies really well. The performance I'm really pleased with, um, it climbs pretty quickly, um, it's certainly uh, exactly what I want and um, I've crashed it five or six times already and all I'm breaking is this front left prop which I've broken, uh, well I broke two and then fitting this one I was a bit heavy handed and I've actually got a little of a, a fatigue crack there. So I'll probably fly this one for a bit. One, the ones that I've cracked, they have still flown after the uh, after the mishaps um, because I've test flown afterwards. But I wouldn't want to keep using them. Here they are. So that is the first one I broke, um, and I chipped both tips, which I wasn't too worried about. But it's got a little stress fracture on the hub there, so that that's no good. And then the second one, uh, the tip broke off, and. Uh, that's got stress fractures on both. These are the Gemfan 5030 5x3 props, and they're pretty cheap. I mean, they're like three pounds, about five dollars for a set of four. Um, so I bought uh, four sets to start with, thinking they'd last me a while. But given that I keep breaking the same corner, I've ordered um, five more sets today. Uh, hopefully, I will. Um, I'll break some other ones, and otherwise, I'll end up with a load of spares. So that's my mini review, and uh, hope that's useful.